Yo, what's up guys, Shuji Link here with another video to entertain or assist you in becoming the better Injustice 2 player. And this video is all about Adam, he's finally here. So as usual, I'm just going to cover some basic combos to kind of get you started with him. Kind of tell you any tough spots that uh, the combos entail. So he doesn't have a whole lot of combo starters honestly, so we're just going to start off of a, just a mid screen, just a back three, nice and basic. Uh, you can get him with an armored mod if you like. Um, use it as a punish, whiff punish, something like that. So. Uh, so off this you're just going to do a jump three and the important part of this is you want to hit them pretty much at the peak right at the top of their uh, bounce back and then i'll give you enough time and then after that you're going to stagger forward one two and forward two one two into down back two and uh, if you did it right it should look like this And that ends you in a restand, so I mean afterwards you could just go into something like this, which is unblockable, and add 88 damage on there for a bar. So he's that's kind of a mid screen doesn't seem to do a lot of damage to have a lot, whole lot of combo options. So so he can also combo using his enhanced uh, gunshot, as that will recapture them there. So you can use strings such as one one two or uh, back one that will link into the. Uh, into the enhanced, and then it's going to be pretty similar to our last combo. So we're going to do, let's say, we do one, one, two into that, and then the and then the back three, and then we're going to hit the jump three again at the peak of the jump, and then end it the same way in the forward two, one, two into that guy. So this is going to be what, probably what you're going to be using a lot for punishing. Someone does something unsafe, you can throw this combo out at them. It does cost a bar, it doesn't do the greatest damage, but it's uh, definitely an option for you. So should look like this. And again, it leaves you restead, so you can do that if you want. Try and add a little bit of extra damage on there at the cost of a bar, depending on what kind of meter you have. Now this next one is a little bit tricky, um, because there's a lot, not a whole lot of time to uh, do the back three, but you can do the uh, forward two one two say into that, meter burn it, and then back three. See, it didn't combo, I waited a little bit too long there. And then, same as the other combos, we'll finish it the same way with the forward two one two. Um, it is a little bit of a different bounce back, so I'll show you that in a second, but if you did the whole combo right, it should look like this. Yeah, see, it's weird because you have to do the jump three like almost instantly when he's on his way back, but at the same time, if you don't time it right, he's, he's going to drop. So there's a very small window there where you have to hit him with that jump three, so it's like a very slight delay and then jump three and then finish the combo. So now we're getting to the corner here and this is where things get a little bit dirty and fun uh, because of all of his setups that you can end and stuff like that instead of actually doing a move. And that'll kind of set up damage over time for a follow-up combo or something like that. Um, so similar to a mid-screen, we can start the same way with a 1-1-2 into that. Maybe 4-3, jump 3, and then 1-1-2. And then you can end it in, cancel that into whatever vial you want and you can activate it. Um, I just doing down four or three, and you can do another follow-up combo. So here's a here's a little sequence I kind of came up with. So there you go. You can see that the, uh, the liquid at the end there add a little bit of damage. You can also do a uh, meter burn forward three. It's probably a wiser setup. Uh, because that way you can stuff a wake up if they're trying to wake up. You can also cancel with 1-1 one, one with trait in the corner. Um, and you can pretty much cancel your trait from any string. So you can do something like this. And then come out of trait in time to, uh, to not really have a huge cooldown on your trait. So there's that with the uh, damage boost as well. Throw this down, throw that down, one, one, two. Come out of trade. 400 damage, so. That's just kind of scratching the surface of some of these atom combos. I'm sure a lot of people will come up with more optimal ones, but basically wanted to give you a few to go over his, his few basic starters that he has, so. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, leave a like, because it really helps me out. And subscribe, because we make videos every single day. Hashtag Bonehawks and all that stuff, and we'll see all you guys in the next video.